This series of slides will show and demonstrate spongy or cancellous bone. The primary function of this bone tissue is a honeycomb for structural strength that's between two areas of compact bone. We find it primarily in flat bones like the skull or in the ends of long bones in the epiphysis of bones like the humerus or the femur. Here are a couple of gross anatomy pictures I took under a dissecting microscope. On the left, we can see some compact bone with the trabecula laden spongy bone in the middle. This would be a cavity or a sinus. And then at a higher magnification, these structures or trabeculae. Here is our first slide of spongy bone. We can see a marrow cavity here at 4x. We can see some adipocytes. This would be the spongy or cancellous bone. We don't see the osteons that we would normally see in compact bone. Here is the same slide using the 10x objective. Here is the spongy or cancellous bone. This would be marrow cavity. These are adipocytes. There's quite a few in here. Here is the same slide at the 40x objective. Here is the spongy bone and we get a little closer look at this marrow cavity. There are some adipocytes. Here is another one of our slides using the 4x objective. This is one of my least favorite slides that we have here, but we can still see some things here. This would be empty bone marrow cavities. We can see some bone marrow with adipocytes and we can see some cancellous trabeculae mixed in here. There are also are unfortunately a lot of artifacts on this slide. Here is the same slide using the 10x objective and we can see some bone and we see some marrow areas and primarily you can see the marrow areas with these adipocytes. This is one of the best characteristics you can use to identify this cancellous bone. Here is the same slide using a 40x objective. We can see some bone marrow in here and some cancellous bone. Here is another slide of cancellous bone. We can see the bone here on the side. We see some marrow. There's adipocytes. This is at the 4x objective. Here is the same slide using the 10x objective. We can see marrow areas with cells and adipocytes. The bones here on the side. And finally here is some of the bone tissue using the 40x objective on that slide. Here is one of the better slides we have of cancellous bone. We can see the trabeculae quite clearly here amongst the marrow cavities. There's adipocytes and these solid colored strips are actually trabeculae with bone marrow in them. Here is the same slide using the Tenex objective. We can now see a little more detail here. Here are some trabeculae or spongy bone. In between is bone marrow. We can see some adipocytes quite clearly here. Again, that is one of the better clues to clue you in or characteristics to clue you in that you're looking at cancellous bone. You can see solid bone mass here with lots of marrow and usually the marrow has got adipocytes or fat cells in it. Here is that same slide at the same magnification and I have actually outlined some of the trabeculae in this cancellous tissue. Here is the same slide using the 40x objective and here we can see the cancellous or spongy bone. This area here is all bone marrow. And that should give you a pretty good feel for some of the slides we have here at the school of cancellous or spongy bone.